Hey, it's cool here if you don't know, and it is time for some more of the long run where we are playing Lufia and the Fortress of Doom Restored. So, last time we got dumped with a bunch of plot, and I don't remember most, most of it, uh, <laughs> as usual. But, um, I do know that we're about to go into the old cave. That's right, the old cave that has a certain amount of levels in it. Oh, really? We have to pay for it again? Well, whatever. Not a big deal. The old cave holds many treasures. Of course, much has been stolen. Most of what's left is worthless. Oh. Okay, then. Why are we doing this? Wait, that just took us over here? So, like... This guy is just acting as an exit door? That's kind of rude. You get a new task for every five levels of, exper of experience you reach. Excuse me, do you know someone called Artea? Artea? Oh, I mean the elf who, fo who fought the Battle of Doom Island? I've heard of him. You know him? Please tell me more. Also, hey, Amethyst. You don't understand how the game is played. When you have to ask for something, you have to, you know, have a little money, if that's what you mean, but not money. What I want is the fairy kiss treasure at the second level of the old cave. Only a woman can reach the fairy kiss. There's no way I can get it. Okay. So we got two things to find on the second level. Just north of town, surrounded by a lake. Anything in this box? Hey, spell source. Um, all right, so now that we've done all that talking, that is that what unlocks us to, to be able to get into the old cave? Because I thought the old cave was just going to be like behind that gate. It's outside, of course. Well, this looks like an old cave to me. The elevator lowered the switch. You'll go to the second level. Wait, before I do that, I'm going to rob you. You have nothing to rob. Then I'll rob you of your life! Bam, bam! Uh, my day has been all right. Hope you've had you've had a good uh, holiday time. Yeah. Nice find. Yeah. Um, I need to, to get back into the uh, rhythm of this game here. Money chickens. 
I'm gonna work through it, but money is money. Yeah, I can uh, definitely understand that sentiment. Uh, so now I was two steps away from swamp, so I gotta cast flow again if I understand correctly. And nothing there. Secret map and power ring. So I found the secret map that they wanted me to find, but uh, I have yet to find the, uh, the other thing. Oh, the fairy kiss? By the way, I completely failed to mention the, the presence of J-pop in the area. No, well, did you? Did you? I, I Hi, might guys. have. I know. <laughs> I, um... I am not used to having someone in voice. <laughs> I, 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 I'm also muting myself because I'm eating. And uh, I finally found where you were in a walkthrough just in case because... Yeah. Good idea. <laughs> Red shield, dragon egg. I'll just smash through. I, uh... I was at the family uh, Christmas party, yeah, and I spoke to my uncle that I borrowed both. Uh, go for it. Wait here, I'll go and get it. Will you be all right by yourself? Of course, trust me. We'll be right here if something happens. Go ahead. I borrowed both one and two Lufia from him, and whenever I play the game, I think about him because that's who I got who I got the game from. And I told him I played two, and then I had an online friend of mine, you Julio, hey. play one, and he's <laughs> like, "Oh yeah," and I'm like, "Yeah," because one's so damn slow to walk, and he's like, "Oh my god, I know." <laughs> it's like the first thing we went to. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that is definitely a good thing that I decided to check if there was a patch for this game. I, I imagine there's probably a few patches available for uh, for the second game as well. Uh, uh, but the one thing this this game needed was quick walk speed. It's almost like the difference between Diab Diablo 1 and Diablo 2. Well, the best thing Diablo 2 is that you could start running instead of just trotting through the whole dungeon. <laughs> yeah. I, like, uh, Diablo 1, there, there is a, um, a, like, a fan rebuild of the engine called Devolution, which is pretty good. I think at the very least, like, I don't know that you can go faster in dungeons, but you at least can, like, in town. Like, it doubles the running speed in town. That's nice. I actually think it would kind of ruin the game inside the dungeon, because it was, it was yes. made for that speed. Yeah, like, it, it is kind of tailored to, like, the slower speed, but, like, in town, like, it's not going to matter at all. Just got to make it a little more bearable to, uh to get around to where you need to go. Man, you... There is nothing for you here, Agura. Yeah, this... squad all. Can I get around here yet? Pretty small cave. That's probably why I don't remember it. It's not particularly remarkable. At least not at this level. I'm sure that uh, the deeper down you go, the more interesting it gets. 
Also, Argo is just gonna completely whiff. Yeah, the second game does have a randomizer, and in fact, uh, that randomizer was integrated into Archipelago Multiworld. I think Zero has uh, has played it for uh, Super Shuffle at least once. Um... Oh, nice, Chris. He did once. We talked about it, and it's, yeah. I think it's specifically the uh, hundred hundred four cave. Yeah, the ancient cave. Yeah, I'm sure there is a uh, a full game randomizer as well. Just like the just the ancient cave. Actually, I should. Okay, I can't cast. No, I. I can. I might talk about. It. Yeah, like just the the uh, the ancient cave is a lot better suited for uh, for multi world because the the entire game could take a hot minute to finish. Also, like another thing with the entire game is it's it's a little more linear. Not like super linear, but like there's there's a definite progression to it. No, I try to say that it's linear. I mean, you just go from one incident to the next to the next. Yeah. It, it's been a very long time since I've played Lufia 2 as well, so... I mean, when you get the airship and the submarine, yeah, you could go fine secret chest and go find the dragon eggs, but outside of that, like, most of the game is is straight from beginning to end. Yeah. Nice and quick. 999 gold, man. Can't even get to a thousand. What is this economy? Oh geez, I just realized Luffy is in front again because the party friggin' changed. Like, I don't like that. Like, every time the party changes slightly, it resets the order. And then I tried to change the order back to what it was and the menus are uh, a bit clunky, let's just say. You know, for the time, this game looks absolutely beautiful uh, as an RPG. Cause yeah. I mean, the 16-bit characters are amazing, and heck, even the menus are more in depth than Dragon Warrior, right? Oh, that's right, that guy runs in front. Yeah, um, he is a bit of an asshole. Cause I have to pay fifty dollars every time. But when you go into, but when you look back on games like this, it's like, man, it's really dated. Yeah, a little bit. It, you're right that it does look good, though. It's like for uh, compared to the rest of, you know, SNES RPGs. Ah. Wow, well, this is it. This is what I've looked for in these 40 years. So, what do you say? Okay, okay. Artea, right? See the man in the tower, Northwest of Town. Northwest Town, got it. 
He's a strange one. Won't meet anybody unless they show him this letter from me. Use our tears apprentice. He must know something. And we also get our um, actual reward. And yeah, there's no other tasks right now. You, sir, are a butt. Um, okay, so Northwest Tower. It didn't seem like a tower to me, but uh, I'm not really sure. There isn't really anything here that looks like a tower? The man should have tried going in dry to get in. Uh, Slacking up on a few consumables. Probably not a bad idea. Um, how am I on those right now? Anyway? Uh, speed source. Um, Main hero privileges and obvious mage, mage privileges. <laughs> pretty much. Uh, float is pretty much... I can just cast the spell, really. I can't imagine that it does anything different than that, yeah. Why is there no auto sort in this game? Why is there no auto sort? Welcome to the early 1930s. Uh, 1990s. Behold <laughs> to the its early power. 1930s. <laughs> it, this game came out in 93, right? But. Behold its power. Your item organization, uh, OCD, is, is crippled under its power. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, eh, I'll do for now, I think. What was I even looking for? Apparently I'm supposed to have a letter, but I'm guessing it's just a story flag rather than an item. I have also played Shining Force. Um, it's, as with a lot of things, it's been a very long time. Right. I remember what we were doing now, we were checking uh, items. I have nine potions, that's probably more than enough. Um, maybe some items, some uh, magic restoratives. Lake is sleeping, obviously. Let's get one of those for good measure, I guess. I do not have any items here for restoring magic. I mean, I, ha I have a high magic on hand, but that's about it. Well, that's just temporary stat increases. I'm not sure if this game has magic potions. I mean, there's this. Oh, okay, so there is. A lot of- okay, this might be the old RPG where you find them, but you can't buy them. Maybe. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised, honestly. 
I don't really want to sell anything until we have our fourth party member, and then I can just look into just getting rid of things. Magic restores quite a few towns away, gotcha. I'm pretty sure we, uh... Are there any upgrades here? Yeah, there is a hide helm. I mean, he's won a lot of nothing, so... Yeah, that's true. Um... Also, I'm glad that I can just buy things from uh, the look screen. Don't you mean the fitting room? Oh, does it just equip the thing? And now it doesn't. See, the fit, the fitting room would probably actually equip the things for you as you buy them. And you're right. I I was just trying to throw in tactics again while it's still fresh in my mind. <laughs> Also, another nice thing about tactics is you can just equip best. Yes, but for females, it, it sometimes doesn't equip the... the it, it, sometimes it equips the bags too much, even for, like, <laughs> agres. <laughs> yeah. Also, I, I really did stack keen with all of the power boosted equipment so that he just ninja double fisted punched everything into oblivion. <laughs> That's bad. Couldn't stay alive though. <laughs> it was all DBS. <laughs> the last cannon. And I think uh, you can go more thing than it. Yeah, the last cannon. Okay. I think everyone's uh, packed up and good to go here. Let's go ahead and save. And there we go. Let's see if this uh, vendoring old, old gear won't hurt he brings. I'm still just out of uh, out of my own hang-ups, I guess, I will uh, hold on to it until we get our fourth party member, and then I'll just vendor everything. So how far south, uh, how far northwest is this tower anyway? Or am I just completely way off at this point? I could say from the walkthrough, you're supposed to head west around the swamp is the verbiage I came across. Okay. And max inventory of five or six pages, yeah. I am, I am aware of that, I'm just uh... Once we get our fourth party member, I'll start the. I am on the right path, good. Free potion. Ah, yes. That definitely looks like a tower. Just so you know, I have hateful feelings towards this quote-unquote North Tower. It's nothing but disappointment whenever I see mm. it. I think that's a different North Tower you're thinking of. 
the one the one that is uh, connected to another ti another tower that all all your homies hate. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Okay, um... Probably not a bad idea to, uh... Let's burn these. We're not for... For nine, uh... Is it just nine? That was partially. But, uh... For the amount that they restore, that's something that you use out of battle. Like, exclusively. Like one of the dog toys you put peanut butter in. It's hoping that would do a little more damage than that, but uh, well, that's fine. Oh, really? They summon friends. Well, hello, friends. I'm going to kill you too. <laughs> My character levels up and learns Drain. And let's go see what Drain does. Lowers enemy defense. Attack affects one enemy. So generally as far as uh, me navigating through dungeons, I don't really mind if I miss anything, but if it's something that is like incredibly important and uh, probably easily missable, then you can let me know. Oh, so Sonic Ring, what does that do? Increases agility a bit. Reduce my attack. I think I'm gonna have my character be speedy quick, and Agro can be the one with the power. Can I li literally just fall off? Is that, this, that what this is for? I think you can. Yep. Yeah, a fast exit. Well, good to learn that now. this way last time, so let's see if there's anything interesting over yonder. Oh! High potion and high magic. Not bad. But then zombies. Those are bad. Oh. Zombies that can withstand an attack. And do 17 damage to Lufia. And do 14 more damage. Oh no. Uh, be strong, Lufia. came from. Eh, you're, uh, you're not wrong, Apathus. I, um, might have, uh, underestimated your warning, but, uh, if we die, we die. It's not the end of the world. Although I'd rather not. Uh, 
this. It's wrong. And that guy should. Ah! Friggin' hell. Uh, do we have anything other than Miracle to bring someone back? Uh, we have revives. Liquor heals outside of, of uh, combat. Quote unquote cider. <laughs> Five minutes, we bring out the liquor. I am the liquor. <laughs> As the audience cheers. Thank you. I think you know what reference I'm making. I'm wearing Brady, bitch. <laughs> Liquor hardly know her. Um, or I should say liqueur. It's the, the fancy French stuff. Ain't that healed for more than 30? Hey Frank, how you doing? Yeah, I have uh, I have definitely played this game a very long time ago. Uh, specifically, though, this is a, uh, a patched version uh, called uh, Lufia in the For Fortress of Doom Restored, which um, basically has a lot of quality of life improvements. Dragon Quest monster is nice. Dragon Quest, the the new one on the Switch, right? I imagine. Uh, Mind source, that's for you. Mind source, that's for you. I have thought about getting that one, right? Just right now, I don't have any money for new games. Plus, most of my time is spent on Final Fantasy XIV anyway. Goodness knows, if I wasn't playing Final Fantasy XIV, maybe I would have more money for new games, but. Yeah, I'm having fun. Make yourself the final boss of the original Dragon Quest. Nice. If, uh, if you ever think about playing this game, um, you know, in recent times, the patch is the way to go for sure, because uh, I think, I think J-Pop can attest to that. Uh, you, you walk, like your legs are, your, your shoelaces are tied together. Just so <laughs> slow. There are other things too, but that's the number one thing. There's also some retranslations on this patch and some uncensoring. Hey Gamba, how you doing? What's up, Gamba? Uh, Oof. That was unpleasant. Down goes one, down goes two. That's breath. Helitosis. That is an excellent name. Uh, hang on. Uh, here. 
58 points. Holy crap. Yeah, thank you for the tip for uh, for the uh, the alcoholic beverages. Look, Daddy needs his medicine. All right. <laughs> Overcome your fear. Okay. I actually looked at that sign and the two treasure the the two treasure chest and just thought of any RPG horror game and just like, well, one's gonna kill you, or both are gonna kill you. <laughs> As it turns out, neither will kill you. I don't want to overcome my fear. Runs away. You've had dates that use that move on you. I just noticed that. I'm sorry. That's pretty funny, Colin. Get that zombie. Another chart mute. It's also my understanding that uh, the encounter rate in, uh, you know, unpatched Lufia is abysmally high. And this feels kind of bad, <laughs> despite that. <laughs> yeah, th this one's bad. Just imagine, like. The original's worse. Whereas the the only disadvantage with uh, turning down the uh, the encounter rate is uh, not as much experience, but um, to have to mainline sweet water just to move normally. <laughs> Damn. I should probably use these arrows, actually. Let's go ahead and use one now. Um, let's see, where are the arrows? So many items. There it is. You should organize them, Keck. <laughs> I should. <laughs> I have a better idea. It should organize itself a lot better than it does. Can't go back anymore. Uh, I just mashed through, I think. I should hopefully be fine for long enough to get out of this fight. Alright, time to get drunk. interfere my, with my practice. Wait, I have a letter for you. A letter? Show it to me. Oh, from my friend in Grenoble. He helped me a lot when I got, when I was young. Uh, ah, yes. Do you want to, to ask about Artea? Do you know him? I do, but I can't tell you anything. Why not? You may be someone important, but I can't tell you where Artea lives. Well then, how can I make you tell me? We shall battle each other, one on one, for real. Are you truly brave enough to, to accept my challenge? Okay. Oh, and it really is a duel, huh? Okay. Um, probably good to start with uh, 
system defense. Uh, I don't think I have any. Oh, I can do it, I guess. Well, your defense. I think I have to recast every three turns if I understand correctly. Is that how this current one works? And I remember someone mentioning that in chat uh, last week. I, I just know. The track for some more fire water. Um, if I use those arrows, actually, they seem to be doing pretty good damage. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's not the same as it is in 2. Because in 2, it's per battle. But you actually can cast it multiple times, but there's a cap of how much it will allow you to go up. Yeah, that, that definitely makes sense. Yeah, these arrows at least seem like they're tearing through pretty well. Yeah, there we go. Cost me all of my mid arrows, but we got there. Uh, You're a good person. I can tell by your energy, and also by your trial by combat that we just did. Uh, You'll tell me? Uh, Artea is in Elfreya now. Elfreya? The village of elves. Nobody could have guessed that. Humans may not enter. You will not find him without an elf help. So, where, where is Elfreya? Go, go south and cross the desert. You'll find a small... Uh, yeah. You'll find a small island surrounded by three islands. Okay. That's Elfreya. Listen, Elfreya is far away. You'll have to travel through three towns to get there. That's some distance. I understand. Thanks for all your help. Take this. They'll make you faster and stronger. Harder, better, faster, stronger. Okay, so south... Across a desert island surrounded by three islands. I also need the power of the elves. Alright, so that went well. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and use that uh, speed source. Um, you said you were the fast one, so. Yeah. Let's get out of here. Yeet! I'm glad that that doesn't uh, cause any, like, health damage. No, nah, no, nah, there's no fall damage in SNES. They didn't invent that yet. So lucky that, I mean, when he gets low, he starts healing. Yikes, yeah, that would not have been great. Um, okay, drop with that. But yeah, it's probably a good idea to return to Trek and, um... Get some more booze. Probably a, probably a little bit of rest too. Oh. Also, yes. Oh, okay. It's Lufia, yeah. yeah. Again. Again. Oh, game, why do you do this? I'm back to Greninja here. Well, speaking of who's lying j inside jokes, uh, when I read Grenoble, I hear Genoble Mickey. Genoble Mickey. But I don't remember that. I, I don't remember what scene it's from, but it's an answer in whose line. Is there anything here that I particularly need? I don't think there is. Oh, the sm smoke ball is escaping now. We got it. Although, I should probably also save, that would be a good idea. That would be a good idea. There's also, no bar in this, this town, huh? 
There is not. Let's just make sure everyone has uh, the equipment they should have. You definitely don't have the save bug that uh, me and Zero have. Save bug? Yeah. Uh, you know, you do one thing, go ahead and save. Get uh, one item, go back and save. Yeah. I, I gotcha. finally set up your equipment, go back and save. <laughs> so where was the... Uh, was it back across the water? Uh, yes. It was the town before uh, we came here by boat. I mean, it, it's it definitely feels like it's worth doing because, like, that is some su substantial healing, and for low price too. The mine drug is bath salts. I could have used a war, but I think I only have the one right now. Unless it's a reusable item. I don't know if it is. You know what you should do? You should save and try it. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong, honestly. Uh, actually, no. Let's buy another 10. All of the booze. All of the booze. Yeah, so go ahead and save. See if you can warp. Oh, there's single use? Oh. That's all in the shops. Uh, I haven't seen one... Well, not at least not in the item shop. Uh, I guess I could check Lurbean. Is there one in Lurbania? Yeah, she's the wind room. <laughs> yeah, there, there's... Oh, there we go. 80 gold, though. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, okay. I think... Four? Okay, four. Urbania has them? Okay. Also, also here in truck, so... Can't use it here. Okay, I guess gotta go outside. Uh, it's an outside thing. God, that's so annoying. Cannot use the warp drugs in town. Legally. Legally. Okay. Now apparently we gotta go through three towns in order to get to uh the to, uh, to elf land. I am level 10. Right, um, maybe I should turn around then. Yeah, sure. Right, I need to actually go in town and request a task. Dollar man to Diviase. I read it. I read that in a different uh, BPM. Money, money, money. I mean, get, given the option between being Fred Diviase and being Donald Trump, I think I'll pick Diviase. Well, yeah. I, I just <laughs> can't help it because it's an octet that is funny to me. Yeah, fair. <laughs>
Oh really, it's gonna do the animation for every floor. Excellent. Um, nothing. Vodka. 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 Magic guard. Nothing oh. there. Nothing. Escape. Um, actually, probably should have cast rather than attacked, but you know. I don't particularly feel in danger right now. Ooh, that's where the danger lies. I see. Poison pit. Nice. Why? No, I'm not done in there. It's the, the one downside of moving so fast is sometimes precision is hard. It's so weird. We went through, over this the last time, but there's like a hidden, like, function time bar after you send a command. It's yeah, it's it's really bizarre to, to submit your command and then it only, like, goes through, like, after these other two people have had a turn. Miracle. All right, that should be the only hidden thing in this area. All right. Floor. Um, what? Speed and weight based. That makes sense. Ooh. Big defense drop. Also, um. Should probably have expected that the uh, the magic dudes are resistant to magic. Ooh. Ah, that's that's unpleasant. Oh, time to get drunk. I don't know that I particularly need to, because like I'm I'm really close to town. They just, so just uh, or strong, yeah, that one. Yeah, just use some uh, some strong here for uh, for the time being. I don't really need to be super cautious about magic usage right now. So I know that you said that there's nothing else here, but I'm. I still need right. to satisfy my brain here and cast uh, cast float twice by accident. <laughs> Just because you said that, I'm gonna be doubly sure. <laughs> I read ya. I got ya. Please, revive. please don't ban me from this phone call. And I, I it like it's like a Twitch uh, chat joke. Yeah, yeah. Oh crap, I knew it. curse equipment? I knew it! I knew it was cursed! And I looked at it, I was like, that looks like a cursed item. <laughs> well, you learned something today. So obviously that means I can't take off the bloody sword until I go to the church and have it uncursed, but what is the other effect of cursed items? Ah, uh, let me... I imagine, uh... Cursed items aren't horrible, you say. <laughs> A bright side, cursed items aren't horrible. Oh, nice. Oops. I 
Ah, uh, it does. It, uh, it basically inflicts Berserk. Got it. Which, yeah, there, there are definitely worse things that could happen. But, um, considering that, uh, my character is the, um, is the healer of the party, I might still want to, uh, not have him equip that. That might be good for Agro. Curse items bring about malice. Oh dear. You doomed us all! Hey, uh, hey Zero, how you doing? Get something else. I was not paying attention at all. Spike shoes. Shoes with spikes on the soles. I mean, yeah, obviously. And I think that is it for this floor. Oh, water ring, yes. Um, not 100% sure what that does, but I mean, it's probably fair to assume. Now, it is giving me the option there, but I assume that it's going to completely ignore my input. Still waging war against the ants? God damn. Water of the frog? Yeah. Okay, cursed items, it depends on what it is. Now, I'm actually assuming that the original name in this game is Broadsword, but this one is Bloodsword. And if I read this right, it takes anywhere from from two to five hit points away from you per turn. Ah, uh, is that it? Oh, or there we go. Oh, yeah, when, we you, when you attack, when you attack. But Although however, it was it was definitely more than five. It was not okay. But, uh, it might have been it might have been percentage. Uh, I'm also uh, <laughs> I'm trying to read this, watch your stream, and also consider things of the patch, because like say the luck blade, something later on down the line, um, it misses fifty percent of the time. But, but if crits the other 50%. Hit, but crits the other 50%. Yeah. So each cursed item depends, and probably the name will spell it out. Yeah, that, uh, that makes sense, honestly. So it's... So it's not like uh, Dragon Warrior where the uh, curse belt... Uh, gets tighter every time you inspect it and all I can think of in my seven-year-old brain is that my stomach's gonna turn into a twig <laughs> Also, I probably just wasted uh, Lufia's attack there And things are getting a little rough here actually I might actually have to break out the booze Oof. I accept that he's gonna die right now. <laughs> Living is overrated. Living is too expensive, that's the problem. Ooh, a little real on that one. <laughs> um, living is expensive, booze is cheap. Even more How do you make... <laughs> How do you make the cursed items really bad? I made the cursed items really bad. Uh, is that is that a made... riddle or an actual question? Uh, and for Dragon Warrior, I, I, it's a real question because I mean, oh, fine. I don't even know what the belt does. I know that the necklace keeps you out of town. The belt, to me, just brings up scary music and traumatizes my, like, seven-year-old self. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. 
Yeah, I know, uh, I know Sus has it as a sounder on her stream. I don't know if Frank has it. But yeah, Fra Frank and Sus have definitely done a few, uh, Dragon Warrior randomizers on their channel. And probably, probably besides as well. I was setting up for a, a bad pun. Actually, what crossed my mind, bro, was the conversation that we had. I want another shot at finishing a run of Dragon Warrior. So I think I'm going to remove the sword, but I'm going to keep it just in case I have to quote unquote bypass the EPS relays. 600? I'm sorry? Well, okay then. I think- okay, yeah. And I think you do still have it. So I- I, I have don't... it in case things get rough anyway. It's a strong sword, it just has a- It's a double-edged sword! <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. That's literally what it is. <laughs> and from using town, maybe hurting you. Uh, I haven't played. I don't know. Have I played Dragon Warrior? I know you have, uh, J. Bob. I know. I see. I don't think so. I don't think they actually hurt you. Okay. Um, I think that's all I gotta do here. Okay. Okay. I was just I was just curious to see if he was gonna block our way there. Ah, so that's what happens, Gamba. You just can immediately get cat get kicked out of Tantagil. And you can't save. Yeah, that uh, that would be the worst thing, honestly. Yeah. Yeah, what's the what's the current uh, record for uh, Dragon Quest one? What is it? Like five and a half hours? That's not what okay. I call short, but you know, uh, I guess for for as long as it should be, that's kind of short in that respect. Oh, and I'm and I am talking about the Noma Nip version, uh, not the. Not the one where everybody goes, Command, 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 Excellent move! Hmm. 5.15. Probably looks like a six and a half hour average run. But yeah, at least, uh, at least if you still have the, uh, the cursed item, like, they're, they're not like, you, you have a cursed item, you must die. Like, at least it gives you a chance. Kind of hoping that would kill something, but I guess not. Also, I'm just now remembering about the water ring. I need to check what that does. Now, if I can remember that until the end of the battle, I'll be set. <laughs> Ew, the randomizer, he can get a sleep spell? Yeah, because he only gets stop spell, which never works as long as you have either... Especially if you have Edric's armor, but I think also even with the magic armor, stop spell no longer works on you. The original Dragon Lord can't put you to sleep. Yeah.
Like, I I don't know much about uh, Dragon Quest 1, but I do know that the uh, the final fight is a really tight battle. In so, speedrunning, yes. I mean, yeah, like, if, if you're doing it at, like, minimal level, like 16 or 17, then, uh, like, everything has to go perfectly, and, like, getting getting put to sleep in the middle of the fight, you're just dead immediately. Yeah, what was it the last time somebody told me? I think it's level 17, and I think it's, like... Is it like like a 15, 18% success rate, something like that? Uh, well, I I don't know for sure, but uh, like I think it is possible at 16 if you're really lucky. <laughs> like if you want to roll the dice, go for it, but you're probably not gonna get it. Oh hey, whoops. Up. Let's uh, test out this water ring. And they are making do a whole lot so. against uh, these guys. Elemental rings also reduce that magic damage by 50% of that character. Alright, so it's increased uh, outgoing damage and reduced incoming damage. Oh, so they had this song in the first one, too. Oh, and this guy uh, reminds us of what we were supposed to be doing. Hey, full nice story. guy! Yeah! Hey, you said go south. Try to go south. Go south from here. I gotta check to see if there's something secret there that there was not. I was gonna ask if it made you feel better. I get why you did it. I'm, I am teasing you, but only because I understand. <laughs> <laughs> did it make you feel better checking it out? <laughs> it did. <laughs> I was okay with the idea. Look, you're, as soon as you were already in a couple steps, in my <laughs> mind, I was like, F finish walking it. it. Just please. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta know for sure. <laughs> Fun fact time. I mean... There's a theory that the old man is Maxim. But he died! Yeah, and so did Dragon Master Dine in Lunar. Except he didn't. Yeah, at the end. When, when him and, and Selen use the sword to destroy... Don't count Luffy 2. No! I count <laughs> Luffy 2. He dies. I became a dad in real life, and then I played the game again, and then he dies. Then I cried. <laughs> oh no, his daughter is ill. I'm gonna come I, mean, in I don't and like the... I don't like the idea of uh, Japanese anime kids growing up without parents because either they're working or dead. I'll stop. I'll shut up now. <laughs> I promise I'll make you well, Reina. Thank you, Mark, but it's all right. New medicine has ever worked for me. It'll be fine. Our town has a ruby, the Hope Ruby. It makes your wishes come true. I'll bring it here. I know of it, but I thought it was a treasure of the Kingdom of Madan. I'm sure I can borrow it if I asked. Next time I come, I'll bring the hope with me. Thank you, Mark. I'll go back to Madame. Uh, 
I hope Mark doesn't do something stupid because of me. Is Mark Reyna's boyfriend? Yes, he lives in the eastern town of Adon. He came to see me even after I became ill. He's so sweet. I know, but I wonder if I'll ever see him again. That won't happen. He'll... <laughs> that won't happen, bitch. You're never gonna see him again. <laughs> you have to get well. Yes, you're right. Also, I'm uh, stealing your plush dog. Hope you don't mind. <laughs> and your plush monkey. Your chat is not being captured. Oh, isn't it? Um, no, it hasn't. Well, I guess I've been talking to no one this entire time. I have refreshed it, so it should work now. See, that's that's the problem with uh, me trying to dual boot between Linux and Windows. I really would like to just be able to do everything in Linux, but right now that's not really an option. I'm gonna steal your booze, lady. <laughs> well, if you want to be 10 years old, you don't need this. <laughs> <laughs> it's illegal for children to drink. There's bombs. Man, just hiding like all sorts of stuff. Hi, YouTube. Bye, YouTube. Okay, so that was the first town that we have to go through. This cave is dangerous. I have to make sure no children enter. I am not a child. Me in. Now we go in. You know, all children say that they aren't a child. And, the, and then the adults wish they were ten. Uh... Do I wish I was ten, though? I don't think I wish I was 10. That would be nice. It'd, take... it'd be nice if I was like 25. Yeah, I was gonna say 24. Yeah, I say 25 because that's my favorite number for some reason. Although, I will say I, I don't wish that I, that I am, like, that I was where I was when I was 25, because, uh, that was not a great time for me. Mm. Well. And at that point I was just getting out of a really shitty job. Oh, I don't. I was a brand new parent. Huh. Was I? A new yeah, parent? Yeah, oh yeah, I was. This is a piece of crap at 25. Basically, like, the, the body of 25 with the knowledge of now. So, sort of like, um, what was that movie? Days of Future Past? Six, don't want the knowledge. No, I think I, I just want the materials at my current age with the body of, of 25, 24. I've, while I have knowledge and experience, I think my general senses have mostly stayed the same, so. So I. I so I could lose my most recent experiences. But if I could just keep my possessions, that'd be great. Of which I have like two. Oh man. <laughs> my my car in this condo. <laughs> That's about it. Hey, don't own your computer? 
I mean, yes, I still want this thing, but also it's eight years old now. Ah, yeah. It's, it's up there. Uh, I think all of a sudden, when it gets old, it'll be sudden and fast. Actually, it's a post that I saw on co-host uh, just earlier today. It was the most ridiculous thing. It's someone installing an RTX 4090 in a Lenovo Think Center. Which is one of those like tiny little box computers that most uh, companies will use as thin clients. Yeah, yeah, a lot of businesses kind of use that as minimal client, whatever. Yeah, it's it just looks absolutely ridiculous. Like there is no like zero way to install that thing inside the chassis. I mean, you would have to solder a, <laughs> the connectors out of it to the card. Yeah, well, that that's pretty like not soldering, but like um, it's basically like they installed a riser with a cable that goes out to the. Um, the video card. Okay, S a similar concept. Well, the actual concept set of the, uh, the makeshift MacGyver version. <laughs> and that's true, Franco. Like, and then once you. Once you get a new computer after your old one, after so long, all of a sudden you go, holy crap, what was I using before? Hmm. I finally got rid of old motherboards and, and RAM and uh, and all a whole bunch of old stuff that I was like, oh, just in case or whatever. But after like a while, like you're not going back to it. So yeah, I, I might have slightly overbought for, uh, for my current computer because uh... Like, it was for the business, uh, like, for the, the you know, uh, self-employment business uh, course that I had, and uh, so they gave me a, um, a grant for it. So I ended up um, kind of loading this thing up with, like, an i9 12th gen and, like, 64 gigs of RAM. I'm never going to use 64 damn gigs of RAM. You say that? But a lot of times it's not you, it's, it's Windows. It's your browser. <laughs> it's your browser. The editing software you use all of a sudden just by default eats up 30 right off the top, you know? And you're I mean, trying, to, I, proce trying to process 16K videos, I mean... <laughs> but I don't really do a whole lot of editing honestly like the the most amount of editing that i did for a video recently was the last part of lunar where there was just a bunch of cutscenes that had no audio so i had to splice them in yeah when so, the when the device stops booting i'm like that's it and Apathis, when my last computer that I had before this one, I don't remember how long I used it for. It might have been 12 years. And I refused, I refused to get off of XP because I loved XP. Best operating <laughs> system ever. But I finally did only for the fact that Overwatch wasn't going to play on XP, so... I, that's when my my life changed, <laughs> and I rebuilt this one. <laughs> I mean, Windows XP was a good operating system. It was end of life two years. Then I finally had to move on. Although Windows Seven was pretty good too. Like I, I feel had like. My I feel like 7 was pretty much the last, like, one that I would call good. I could see that. Like, I think 7 is probably technically better than XP, but XP was the biggest leap. Oh, for sure. Right? 
And it, it's and e everything that was good about Windows 9X and just build on top of that. It, it was... Oh, it's you. Didn't I see you at the Adam Shop in Kirov? What? Oh, you're the lady who came to Rena's house. What's the, what's the matter? Uh, what's the matter? You look troubled. I asked the king to lend me the ruby, but he wouldn't even see me. I promised Reyna. What shall I do? Well, let's see what we can do, I guess. After Ten we've has... robbed this damn castle. Ten has my approval, but there... There's a little bit mad from it, but for the most part, it gets a positive from me, 10. Yeah, 10 is I'll... okay, but like, uh, 10 is where they really start adding like, advertisement and telemetry and all that crap. Yeah, and 11, I would put it as the best of the worst operating systems, the Emmys. The eights, you know, the moved vistas. up to current edition windows under duress. We know better than you when it comes to forcing you to update. Yeah, there, there is a reason <laughs> why I got Windows Pro, so that if there's an update that comes in, it I can tell it to not force restart my computer. Yeah, I hate the fact that only in Pro, you have to... Well, that only in Pro, so you have to get Pro. Oh, Pro You're like, yeah, no, I, I don't want this update. Don't get it for me, you know? Yeah, you, can, you can straight up just tell it not to install, or if it installs, then don't restart my computer until I say so. Which is especially useful for me right now, because um, and I mentioned this last week, there's an update, and I know that you, you gave me some steps to, to try and I never got around to it, but there's an update that is just stuck. Like, it's there, it wants to install, and it needs to restart to install, but I restart and it doesn't install. And, I, and like, if the thing that J-Pop told me to do doesn't work, then my only option, I think, would be to actually, like, reset Windows, and I really don't want to worry about it. Now, this, is, this has been around since, like, I think September. So imagine that. Having an, ins an install stuck there since September, if I was on Home, and it was restarting by itself continuously, <laughs> I just hate the very thought of that. Anyway, Kingy. I haven't told anyone else, but there is a rumor that the Sinistral Ammon has been revived. I hope it's just a rumor. I can't ask you about the... the... Okay, I guess I can't ask you about the gem. Then why did I come here? There was nothing to rob and no reason to talk to anyone. This is the same story as Lufia 2, because there's a gem that gets stolen <laughs> in that one, too. <laughs> you probably got to talk to the kid that ran away. You probably got to tell him, oh, it's okay, I'll talk to the king for you. Well, I would have thought that that was going to happen implicitly. Or maybe I have to come down here. Oh. Princess, you shouldn't be at the, in a place like this. You've been collecting all of the coins thrown into the fountain again, haven't you? Well, that's my job. It's sad. We call it the Hope Ruby, but I know it's just made of glass. But the coins thrown throw into the spring are what our country needs. I know, that's why it's sad. We can't defend the Ruby forever. Our country must wake up someday. Princess. I wish the Ruby was broken. Hi, we totally overheard everything. Okay. Oh my god, this is the last game from Lufia 2. Uh, right? Didn't they replace the red ruby with an imitation one? Yeah. 
Maybe I'll just take the day off. You know, maybe it was the crown that got stolen, but the ruby is the one that broke. So the dude created a new one. Uh, and this game is in the future. And all these spoilers, damn. <laughs> this is the hope movie. It said that when wishes come true, uh, that wishes uh, come I'm true when you throw a coin into the spring, make a wish. Uh, oh yeah, I'm gonna make a wish. Six. Ask me what I wished for. What you wish for? <laughs> I won't tell. But why'd you uh, make me ask? Also, why are you like doing it again? Well, you're lucky this ain't my stream, because I know how I feel those words. You know, oh, in the beginning, Apathis, we made fun of how the beginning is exactly like Luffy 2. Hero goes off, childhood friend, blue hair childhood friend. It's like, no, I'm gonna go with you. You can't stop me. And then journey ensues. So now that I know that the Hope Ruby is fake, do I have to go talk to someone? Like, do I talk to the king again? Or do I... Let's go talk to uh... the king. I don't know. Sorry, you're several you know your, down your this is fake? You don't care. Alright. I think you just leave? Alright. Um, <laughs> throw her in and make a wish. <laughs> Yes, what happens when you throw a teenage girl into the fountain? Oh, there we oh, go. Yeah, but, uh... Doesn't that work? Get back here! What's happened? The hope Ruby was stolen. It's the most important thing in Madame. No, it's not possible. It can't be. I guess that the, um, probably go back either to the town that we were just at, or possibly to, um, that cave that they didn't let us into. Yeah, you're fine. Just go with that plan. Get Batman on the horn. Time for you to make my wish come true. Yeet! <laughs> ah, here we go. Raina's disappeared! What? Raina? But she's sick. I thought Raina couldn't even stand. Please help me find Raina. Of course. You stay here, Mark. It's dangerous from here on out. No, I'm going. I promised Reyna that I'd show it to her. I knew it. You're the one who stole the ruby. I know it was wrong. I just wanted to make Reyna well, that's all. But Mark, that ruby doesn't have any power. It's all right, Mark. Let's go together. It's very dangerous. Are you ready for that? Of course! Stubborn child, take a sit. Um, is there a save point here, or just not? Doesn't look like there is. And everyone is at uh, full health. If he's a little, a little under on magic, but I'm not really worried about it. He's thinking Arby's. Agro being quiet. Oh dear. Well, I was right on my hunch anyway. Whispies? I hear that if enough of these get into a tree, the tree will come alive. 
Ooh. These guys are rough. <laughs> I believe he's got the meat. Oh my. And Luffy gets a well-deserved level up from that and learns mute. Didn't escape. So many choices. Actually, I want to go into that door. Well, maybe I'll just go away, you know. I'm not worried about that door. I prefer to stay alive. Sure enough, there's Boxy with Chain Cloth, which I believe is an upgrade for Lufia. I'm not a fan of this cave that has like 5,000 ways to go. Monster Ring? I'm willing to bet that's basically like a um, permanent foul water while you have it on. Yeah, it is. I also... Mm, that sounds like something that might be cursed, too. What about this ghost ring? A ghostly looking ring. Good. Alright. Ah, so, so that's how the rings work. It'll just turn you into whatever it's called. But I mean, if, uh, if that was the case, Zero... Oh geez, that's, that's some damage. Yeah, if, if that was the case, then Lufio would be water right now. And I'm pretty sure she's still solid. I'm the millionaire ring. Oh, geez. That's unfortunate. 500 monies. Break out the, the booze. these charred meats. So we can liberate a, uh, a space in our inventory. Oh, miracle though. I believe in miracles. You can fly? I believe you should give it a try. Actually, please don't give it a try. Whee! I was going to, but I decided not to. Going to what? Think about it every night and day. Ah, gotcha. Oh dear. Zero has been hit. This 
It's okay, we catch you out of spreading your wings and flying away. We'll just pick up his body from the ground and bring it, and bring it back to the ship. It's at least worth five gold. <laughs> But I, I'll, I'll tell you this, I believe Argur is sore. I mean, he did die briefly. You found a high potion. Hey, Tyrion, how you doing? Is like so much stuff here. Holy crap, look at this. What is this dungeon? The Cave of Wonders. Yeah, in the in that I wonder where it is the fuck I'm supposed to go. Giggle was adorable. That was a new last lesson, lesson family events. Yeah, there's a thing about age, how it um, reduces a person's social bandwidth. Believe me, I know all about that part. tapped out 20 years ago. Oh, jeez. These guys are a problem. They must be dealt with by science and also hidden them. The science of violence. Also the science of agro levels up. Ah, oh, man. Is getting yeah. violently drunk is the answer apparently. I can see <laughs> I can see why they changed it, by the way. You know that was that that, that is um, all of what happened this Christmas. Everybody tapped out early and the and the and the drinking was early and often. But it was strange for our family party. It was over at like 11 o'clock. Usually it's past midnight, but not this year. Okay. I guess I didn't need to use those restoratives after all, because we found ourselves a checkpoint. That's probably about halfway through this cave. There's still... Obviously, a lot to go. And that's gonna have to wait until after the break. So, y'all can take a moment, uh, get some to drink, go to the bathroom if you need to, stretch your arms, stretch your legs, stretch your teeth. And in about 10 to 15 minutes, we shall continue through this cave of wonders and dangers and whatever the hell else. So, I'll see you in a bit. And here's some more of uh, Cathode Ray Dude's mixtape. And for anyone who's watching this on YouTube, uh, go check out his co-host at Cathode Radio. You can download this mixtape that I'm playing on the stream. Anyway, see you in a bit. <laughs> 